stay in your lane is not something that I hear very often. That's okay. There's nothing over there. They won't see my face for sure. Um, but thank you. I always appreciate people reminding me of things like that. If I can forget. Um, it's not something that I hear people say very often. And it's something very specific that I said to a very specific person. At a very memorable time. I'll just say that. So, Lil Red, you might want to delete your troll. I think I got you. Try again, bitch. Um, here we go. No more harassment. And I came into this scope like, uh, it was somebody else's scope. I was going into not for this, by the way. This was not what the point of this whole scope was. Um, she acts like she's above it all. She's not. Yep, I'm seeing. And then me, I'm absolutely above you. You're clearly trash. Fact. I am above a lot of shit. Then as soon as I said um, to plane ticket, since you threatened me, I'll do what I need to do when I feel threatened. Good luck. Oh, I didn't do anything. Sure, plane ticket. I got you. I have a feeling that plane ticket and Lil Red and Country Croc Girl, whatever Clock's fake name is on here, I think they're part of the people that are DMing me and messaging me off of scope that are sending threats as well. I think they're probably one and the same. I don't think it's a whole gang of people. I think it's just a few people that think that they're real slick and real hilarious. <sighs> and then, back, 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 there we go. This, at the end of it. Mm hmm We can't control all that stupidity. I can't control what all those people were saying. If I got mad about every one of those nasty comments that I've been hearing for the past, like, two weeks, I would probably be really sad and depressed if I really took these things to heart. Like, I feel bad for um, the people that are being harassed, anybody who's being harassed and targeted and stuff like that on the Internet. Like, it's rough. It's nasty. But you have to separate it. And then this is kind of like for all the nasty people that are perpetuating this stuff. Because my little situation is going to be over and done with. You know what I mean? Moved on. There's brand new drama every single day. And um, I feel like ultimately this is something that, that maybe they should look into. You know? Make room for your healing by sitting with your emotions and becoming aware of the processing that you're being encouraged to do. Like, take a fucking step back. I accidentally got into this shit. It'll be over for me. It's laughable for me because it's done. But the people that keep, that are always involved in the drama back to back to back to back to back, what's wrong with you? For real, what's wrong with you? Like, what are you doing to yourself? I don't get it. Mm hmm Also, I love Tom Hardy, but he's got some really wise words pretty regularly. Um, remember this. No matter how good you are, people will judge you according to their moods and needs. That's facts. Oh, I see what you mean about reflection. That's just my kitchen. If they're trolls, they aren't real, so comments are not real. Is that what they think? I mean, that's entirely possible. And look, even now, as soon as I stopped with the drama, less people in here. It's disgusting. I'm a big believer in this. You teach people how to treat you by what you allow, what you stop, and what you reinforce. It's, it's, yeah, I don't even, I don't, there's nothing for me to even add to that. I say it all the time to people when somebody's complaining about something that was done to them. And especially if it's a pattern. People always treat you how you let them treat you. What is your plans on getting out? Getting out of what? 
I like drama, but everything has its limits. Yeah, I've had enough. Like, this has been fun. This, like, little, um, put together here is, like, my fond farewell to it. Like, I'm done. I'm, I'm literally going to see a lawyer this week about shit that people have said to me off of scope and have harassed me about. Like, that's, that's enough for me. <laughs> I'm smooth. I spoke my piece. I have no other drama. Oh, no, my face. Just kidding. It's interesting growing up and learning that most adults are not smart. I had my suspicions as a, as a kid, but I didn't think the situation was this dire. Yes. That's what I think about when I look at Periscope. I'm like, these are adults? These are the people that are, whew, wow, wow. And I felt the same way when I was a kid. I don't know. Maybe not all kids feel that way, but I think I was... Maybe a little smarter than others, even then. I guess that's because I think I'm better than everybody, right, Clock? <laughs> uh, all of this I felt applied to this, like, whole scope stuff, which is why I have these quotes here, by the way. Because I put all these screenshots together, and I was like, yeah, this is, this is solid. Know your own, knowing your own darkness is the best method for dealing with the darkness of other people. Mm-hmm. Get your self-awareness up. Be aware of how um, how you are and who you are and what you are. And it's easier to recognize things in other people and react appropriately. I did tell that person who made a comment about your skin that was most likely psoriasis, so be nice. Thank you, Brooklyn's Best. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. All right. <clears throat> and then... I have, I have a couple other funny ones, but this one I think is my favorite and most applicable. I'll probably post this on Instagram. Not everyone gets the same version of me. One person might tell you I'm an amazing, beautiful soul. Another might tell you I'm a cold-hearted asshole. And you should believe them both because I treat people accordingly, not badly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Again, for my favorite Tom Hardy. I think that more people should be that way. I don't think that it's wrong to act differently with different people. Not everybody treats... You know what I mean? Like, it's just case-by-case -case basis. You know? That's how I deal with people. And I've been accused of being fake for that because if you don't understand that the reason that I'm doing it is because I just don't I personally don't believe that everyone deserves to get to know me it I feel like everybody should feel that way we're all like treasures and gifts and not everybody deserves it so to say that I'm fake I think is kind of the elementary version and what you would might maybe see from the surface, like I act one way with this person, act one way with this person, but it's because of this. Like I don't treat people badly, I treat people accordingly. Those screenshots that I sent you guys are just a small fraction of the nastiness that has been thrown at me over me simply telling the truth about something that I thought I should say and thought I should warn people on Periscope that they're all being lied to and like just shit is being stirred up for no reason and you know small mind to try to control others and join gangs absolutely 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 oh look you can see my toaster oven and my um my bullet I always have been and will be team cat thank you fish tacos I don't, I don't want anybody to feel like they have to choose sides in anything. That's the thing, too, because I'm not part of that drama clique. I'm not going to, you know, perpetuate anything else after this. Like, this is done for me. Like, I'm over it. It's it's such fucking old news. Um, so you don't have to, nobody has to feel like, I hope, that you need to choose a side with me because you just don't. If I see you in somebody else's scope, I'm not going to be mad. It just doesn't fucking matter. It's Periscope. You know what I mean? If I have a personal relationship with you off this app, that's a completely different conversation. But I have so few, so few personal relationships. And the ones that I do have, I don't have to question them. I don't have to question what their intent is or why they are in somebody's scope or what they're saying or why they're saying it. 
keep your circle small. You don't have to worry about shit like that. Ooh, there's me just being a hoe. Doing what hoes do. There's another one. I love this picture. It's all washed out in the sun. But I have bright pink hair. We've spoken the truth and it's time to move forward. Exactly. That's how I feel. There's another one. No face. There's me. That's me again. Oh, what's this one? People will do anything to shake your confidence. Stay solid and don't fold. You're in control. Whether you're at work or at a party or whether you feel outnumbered. It's all in your head. Hashtag Keanu. Oh, there's just some whore's legs. Those are mine. There's me. My face again. Me, just chilling by the pool. No face. Me in real life. Doing what hoes do. You shouldn't be mad when people assume shit about you. Ah, not everyone deserves to know the real you. Let them criticize who they think you are. Yup. Stay mad. And here we go. We're going to end it on this. This is Grandfather Clock. This is what I imagine Glock to actually look like. I call her Clock because I just, I don't have enough respect for her to even address her by her fake internet name. This is what I imagine her every time she's like, <laughs> mad, mad, mad. Um, just in like a floral moo moo. And that little, that's her fupa right there. No shade on fupa, it's just shade on Clock because I don't like her. So I'm going to end this scope on this. And um, I'm going to come back and finish my weed. And it's going to be no more drama. This is the end of it. So <sighs> it's been real, y'all. Face red, flustered, mad as fuck. That's her. All right. I'll be right back. Thanks for being here, everybody. Thanks for listening. Um, social media PhD. I, I really, I would love to um, read your paper when it's ready. If, if I could even read part of it. You'd rather end it with the legs angle. Yeah, that is a better angle than grandfather clock for sure. All right, I shall return.